Jeremy? Yeah. How are you? Here we are. I'm Joe O'Donnell with the FBI. Can you give your full name, please? I'm Joe O'Donnell with the FBI. Is that sufficient to identify as there only one O'Donnell affiliated with the FBI? In New Hampshire, yes. Could you please state your full name, sir? Could you please stop recording? No. It's the first amendment, right? Okay. What's your name, sir? Could you stop recording? Please? Absolutely not. You can show me your name and identification, or I'm going to go back inside my house. Okay. I don't really want to broadcast my. Uh... Oh, this is going out right after you guys uh, walk no, away. So that's why I'm not going to. So you can show me your name or ID, you can walk away. <laughs> we just want to talk to you. I'm not going to talk to people who claim to be federal agents unless they can show me identification. Okay, well, you see our badges. I, I need to see... Is your full name on that badge? No. I'd like to see something with your full name or I'm not going to talk to you. I prefer you not to broadcast it. This will be going online as soon as you walk away. Well, all I want to do is talk to you about a post that was made and if you well, happen to be the one that made... The, all I want to do is talk to you about a post that was made and if you well, happen to be the one that made... The, all I want to do is talk to you about a post that was made and if you well, happen to be the one that made the... I want to talk to you about you guys coming here. Say you make a salary of, I don't know what, low 100K? You guys making six figures? Factor in 50% expenses, overhead, maybe 100% expenses. Talking about burning a couple hundred dollars an hour just here, let alone all the time you guys are spending to investigate something that you know is not against the law, right? Like so you, you're familiar sure with. We're, we're so not then, not why sure. would you come? Because we want, wanted to make sure that there weren't any. Other no, you're threats. coming because you're 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 part of a regime that does this kind of thing when you know laws aren't being broken, and that's an embarrassment, man. Didn't you guys read the Constitution? Do you not believe in America? So like, how do you do your jobs and go home? We appreciate it. You're walking away. Because nothing we did is against the law, and you guys are fuckheads that try to act like bullies. And I hope you go home and are embarrassed. You can't even say your name on camera, because you know that what you're doing is embarrassing. You know Americans that believe in the Constitution think you're laughable. And you go home and you think about what you did today. Go home and think about it, you cowards. Drive away. Drive away. Thank you for your time. You're not welcome. You should be embarrassed. Embarrassing. You guys are embarrassing. Surely when it comes to these misinformation laws, you'll be greatly worried, along with Elon Musk, about what this government's trying to do. Yeah, Chris, look, I think they're terrible, terrible proposals. I mean, we had a, uh, an exposure draft um, six or nine months ago, which the minister released. Uh, it was widely canned. Uh, I think it was some of the worst legislation I've seen. And 24,000 submissions that went to the minister's office would suggest that that was the case. An overwhelming response from Australians of all makes and models. Uh, it went back to the drawing board and the new version has been spat out. And I've got to say, it's not much better. In fact, it may even be worse in some respects. What it will seek to do is codify what is misinformation, what is disinformation, two words that barely existed five years ago. Uh, and uh, it creates categories effectively now. It's reasonably verifiable content online that is misleading and deceptive and causes serious harm. The categories of serious harm are as alarming as anything. This deals with things which would affect public health in this country and we've just been through all of that and absolutely you, know, you and i have spoken many times about the department of home affairs trying to get australians posts censored uh when many of them were true and in fact that story that you just referred to with the abc uh you know classic sort of misinformation but they would be exempt because these laws don't apply to the mainstream media print radio newspaper this is a an attack on independent content creation uh, and a, an attack on free speech. We can see where the government's going to go with this argument. They'll try and conflate their two issues uh, so they get the public on side against the digital giants. And I, for one, I'm quite comfortable with the onus being on the digital giants to have to have a proper way of verifying someone's age before they, they sign up. Let, let, let's force them to do that. But, uh, but, but they shouldn't be forced to implement this sort of censorship because, as you say, we, we saw the censorship of truthful information during COVID uh, under a Labor 
government or a Greens government or any stripe in, in the future, you'll have them censoring uh, proper debates about climate change and climate action and, and, and energy debates because they're forever trying to, uh, trying to portray the arguments against them as misinformation. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. And we will see that. And in fact, uh, some of the examples that have been used in the government's own expl explanatory documentation are absurd. They use the example uh, of uh, misinformation in the space of health. They use the example of people sharing uh, information that Donald Trump said about uh, injecting bleach to cure COVID, a, a claim which has been debunked multiple times, including by Snopes, which is you know a fair indication of where that one's up to. And you know, only this government could use misinformation as a way of, uh, you know, against prosecuting claims for misinformation. I don't think this is a problem that the government know what they're trying to solve here. This is ultimately about control. It's about uh, profits for the mainstream media and control over the narrative for um, the government and the establishment. Yeah. No. And then look. This. Then this is this is the big problem. Actually, yeah. hang on. Yeah, sure. Liability mate says immigration has to be reversed. It does. No. We need immigration. We got to get a lot of them out. That's right. I, I reckon some some of the 2.3 million people on resident visas need to be sent home. That's right. 100. percent we, we have to. But this is the thing. You have to find them. See, once they're here, it's hard. It's like you literally need a whole department of. You know, they have to be able to manhandle people to get them out of the country. I mean, once they're here on these education visas, they're lost into the ether. They're lost.